There's a pretty crazy amount of stuff to go over today regarding NVIDIA's RTX 4080, AMD's new graphics card lineup, as well as the RTX 4070. I don't want to waste your time, so I don't think you want me to waste your time either. So I'm going to do my best to attempt making this as quick as possible, but I'm going to show you all of the articles that we will be going over here. There is a lot of them, so I hope that you can understand that this is not necessarily going to be the easiest thing to make a quick video about. So this right here, how does AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX compare to the NVIDIA RTX 4080? The reason that I'm covering this is because of yesterday's video of me going over the RTX 4080, the benchmarks that we got for that in comparison to AMD's graphics cards and me just kind of saying that it sucks that we have to pay nearly twice the amount of money for NVIDIA's graphics cards if you are a creator. I am not saying that AMD is bad by any mean. For gaming specifically, they're fine. So if all you want to do is get a graphics card for playing video games, then you're gonna be perfectly fine getting the 7900. But if you are a creator using programs like Blender, using Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas, all the other video editors, all the other photo editors, recording with OBS, rendering your videos, rendering out 3D things. Like, there's no denying that NVIDIA and Intel, for the most part, are the best. And that is why I've always had NVIDIA and, and Intel and not AMD. I take that back. That is why I've never kept anything that is all AMD. AMD's processors have come a very long ways and their processors are great. But as far as their graphics cards go, man, like they have a long ways to go. Like they're, I'm just, I, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful towards AMD because I get it. People are going to say, and I hope that you guys are all reading the information that's on screen here as I'm like kind of talking about this. I just want to make this video an hour long. So the one thing people are going to say here is that you can't compare a Honda Civic to a Lamborghini. And I agree with that. But Honda, they have their NSX, the Acura NSX, but Honda owns Acura. So I, so like, yes, they have cheaper options, but they also have the NSX, which performs very, very, very similar to a Lamborghini Huracan, but it's still cheaper than a Lamborghini Huracan. So yes, I understand that statement of people saying that you can't compare a Honda to a Lamborghini, and that is true, but Honda does offer stuff that competes with Lamborghini. If, if that makes it sound so awkward saying that, but like a better example for for people that would like understand this a little bit more is Chevrolet. Chevrolet is a, actually probably an even better example of this because they have not only their Camaro, which is a heck of a bang for your buck as far as performance goes, but they also have their Corvette again, which is extra. And this is like half the price of a Lamborghini. We're not talking about just a little bit less than a Lamborghini. We're talking like half. Like, so... That's a really good example. But anyways, hopefully you guys all read this here. Um, I, I, I really don't want to make this video just as long as yesterday. Um, but anyways, AMD announces their first Radeon RX 7000 GPU at RTX 4080 beating prices. That's really all I need to say about this article. They're just going over the prices in comparison to the RTX 4080 and the RTX 4090 but I need to make a note about this. MSRP does not mean anything anymore. And I think anybody that has tried to do anything with like even consoles right now, like MSRP doesn't mean anything for consoles, even though they are finally gonna be bringing those to store, like these, these MSRP prices of AMD and Nvidia plus Intel, all of these, MSRP prices, they do not mean anything. So yes, AMD's graphics card is gonna be $999 as well as $899, but we're not gonna be finding those. Like I'm gonna guess that those are probably gonna be around $1,200 
because they're going to sell out extremely fast. And I, from so I take that back with AMD because they may not be doing what Nvidia is doing by throttling their freaking GPUs so that they can get rid of the 30, 30 series graphics cards. But as far as I'm concerned, dude, 30 series cards have gone up a lot. They fluctuated a ridiculous amount the past month. Like, and the reason I know this is because that's the third PC that I built. I sold the other two. And this is like a, a cool little side hustle that I have going on, building PCs and flipping them. And that's why I've made that series with you again i hope that you guys like are seeing all these like specs and stuff on screen i just as if it's not obvious there's a reason that i'm not like reading all of this stuff i'm just kind of going over whatever you know what i mean so anyways i do think that to be fair gaming wise the new amd cards are going to be incredible i don't think that anybody is really buying a 4090 for playing video games and i'm just saying that because you need i'm just curious to how many of you actually have an 8k monitor or a 4k 144 hertz monitor i'm just going to take a wild guess that maybe one percent of you have a 4k 144 hertz monitor let alone an 8k monitor and the reason i'm saying that is because that's what the 4090 is capable of we're talking we're 8k territory now and there's very few people that have an 8k monitor so when you're buying something like the 4090 you're probably buying it as a creator that wants to render out a 10 minute 4k video in under a minute that wants to use blender and create these 3d figures and have real-time preview of what you're creating the 4090 is capable of that that's nothing that we have ever seen in the past the the 3d application there in blender like you can actually see real time so anyways right here nvidia's new geforce rtx 4070 ti is going to be rumored to be releasing on january 5th 2023 that's really all I need to say about this article. I just thought that this was cool that they're going to uh, be releasing the 4070 fairly shortly here. Now, this is the, the 4080, the 12 gigabyte model that they were going to be releasing. But the amount of backlash that they ended up getting from this, um, rightfully so. I mean, I, I understand that. I, I So I understand like I and I don't want to like be negative here, but I'm, I'm a little bit confused at why people were so upset with that when I'm pretty sure they did that with the 3080 or 3090, where it was like a, it was a small amount. It was like two gigabyte difference, but still like the overclocked edition and then like the normal one, I'm pretty sure there was a difference. I could be incorrect about that, but I, it's been a while. But anyways, Nvidia provides update on RTX 4090 16 pin adapter fiasco. Now, basically, I saw this over on Jay's Two Cents channel the other day. And really, the reason that I wanted to cover this is if you're using an aftermarket connector for your power supply, do not do that. Because if you are doing that, they're not they're you're, you're voiding your warranty. So make sure that you're only using NVIDIA's connector for right now. I don't do. And again, this is another reason that I'm saying I really want AMD's new cards to be competing with the 4080 and the 4090 because Nvidia has as good as they are and as yes like as as good as they are there's no denying that in Nvidia has sucked over the past couple of years as a company and a business not their actual product like we're, we're talking like EVGA one of the like most well-known GPU companies out there they left nvidia because of how much they suck so it, i'm sure they're gonna learn over time that oh crap well we're we're just we're, we're falling into this money trap or something i don't know but amd radeon rx 7900 xtx is designed to compete with nvidia's rtx 4080 not the rtx 4090 now i know i'm covering some sort of similar stuff throughout this video and kind of going over um the same thing to a certain extent 
but each of these articles do they they talk about different things in different ways so i'm just trying to like kind of we all think in different ways so i'm just trying to like do it all you feel me so nvidia rtx 4080 pcb this one is just this is really just for the like people that really 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 know what they're talking about and what they're looking at with graphics cards i don't know this kind of stuff i'm just i do this as a hobby i do this as a passion i build computers because it's fun like i, I just i like doing it so like although i understand what i'm talking about i don't necessarily know these like technical super duper nitty gritty detailed stuff so this right here the nvidia geforce rtx 40 series specs we got the 4090 we got the 4080 and then we got the 4070 ti which is just the what nvidia was going to try to do with releasing the other 4080 that they had going on here so we have sms comparison we got cuda cores i'm guessing that you guys can look at the uh the numbers here we got sms cuda cores boost clock memory memory bus memory speed bandwidth default tgb msrp and then release date so this is like yeah like these aren't like these aren't those aren't msrps and nvidia's cards are just so over they're very inflated right now and that's not this is why i'm saying they need competition you know because it's, like that's just going to happen um so sky high third-party nvidia rtx 4080 gpu prices proved that we're in the worst timeline so also so just to make a note okay here we go i know this isn't it right um okay well this isn't what i was expecting it to be but anyways the there there was a bunch of i'm actually gonna google it uh, for you guys so anyways there was a right here this is long we covered this yesterday but i wanted to also show you today just holy moly that's that is a big zoom in oh well anyways i'm guessing that you yo let me close out of this what do you mean okay well okay there we go i was gonna say bro that's a little bit too far of a zoom in here um but as you guys can see these are these are just like very inflated and they're, they're expensive so anyways us retailer micro center ended up revealing the rtx 4080 pricing twelve hundred dollars to sixteen hundred dollars this is msrp like th like again this right here these are actual prices so we're not going to be getting these under these 4080 cards are, are going to be a minimum of what the msrp of the 4090 is you're not i i'm almost 100 percent positive you will not find a 4080 under 1600 dollars that is just how the market is dude i just bought the 3090 and i paid 1700 dollars for that card yes i paid way more because it's white and there's very few white 3090s out there but it fits the build and my point in saying that is this is just how this is how stuff is going to go until businesses start realizing that they need to put their products in stores and not list everything online because this inflation thing is just going to this is going to continue to happen because for the most part these numbers are going up because of resellers you know it's like drop shipping has become a permanent thing now but anyways that's pretty much all i got for you guys and anyways the 3090 i want to say this i built that computer for video like for a series for a video series so of course i'm gonna upgrade that like this is what i do for a living i am a creator i make youtube videos this is what i do and it, depending on what channel you're watching this on i have four different channels man like I have a I, I I work my butt off. I have a real job. I'm managing four different channels. So, yes, I, I get it. Like I don't need an upgrade. A 13900K and a 4090. There's no, there's 64 gigabytes of DDR5. Like there's no reason for me to upgrade other than to make content on the new stuff. Right? Do a PC build with it. So like compare them. Like that's that's what it's called investing into your business so yes to the people that left a comment i don't need it i know that but it, like there's there's a difference between needing something and investing into what you do so yeah throw a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video again 
I apologize it was so long. There, obviously, there was a lot of crap to go over today. Um, but throw a thumbs up, subscribe, check out one of these videos that are on screen. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.